Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Anything made with green leaves is something that I really enjoy because they are very nutritious and abundantly tasty when made the right way. So today I'm going to show you guys one interesting side dish recipe for the Indian breads. It's called spinach corn sabzi. It has a very nice flavor and yes, you can make it really quickly. So let's get started and check out the recipe. So here I have all the ingredients for the dish. The first step is to blanch the spinach leaves. So I'm using one whole bunch of palak leaves for this recipe. Just add about a quarter cup of water to blanch them. I'm not using too much water, just blanch the leaves as a whole. So add them into the pot. So close the pot and let it cook for about five minutes. So after five minutes, you can see the leaves are completely blanched. So remove the palak leaves from the pot and keep it aside. And don't discard the water, save the water, we will be using it later. Cool the leaves completely before grinding them. So once the leaves have cooled down completely, transfer the leaves to a mixer jar and grind it to a nice fine puree. Next, take a nice wide pan. Add about one tablespoon of nice desi ghee and one tablespoon of oil. Once the pan is heated, add one teaspoon of cumin seeds and just give it a quick mix. Next, add one tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. Just saute it for a couple of seconds. Next, add one large onion finely chopped. Saute the onions till they've come to a nice golden color. So now you can see the onions have turned to a nice golden color. Next, I'm going to add all the spice powders, starting with quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, two teaspoons red chili powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon cumin powder, and one teaspoon salt. Now mix everything nicely. So once you've mixed all the spices, add the palak puree and mix well. This is a very simple dish yet very flavorful. Next, add the water from the blanched leaves. You don't want to waste it or discard it. This will give you a little gravy consistency. Cook for about 5 minutes on medium low flame. So after 5 minutes, add the cooked corn kernels. So I've taken the corn kernels of one whole corn roughly about one large cup. Add the corn kernels and mix it along with the palak gravy. After about two to three minutes, add about one teaspoon of garam masala powder and mix that in. Next, add about quarter cup of water and cook it for about 10 minutes on low flame. After 10 minutes, you can see the sabjis come together beautifully. The flavors and the aromas are just incredible. So for the final touches, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of fresh cream. Add a little bit of the crushed kasuri methi leaves. And finish off by adding a few slit green chilies and a few ginger julians. And gently mix that in. The corn palak sabji is ready to be served. You can enjoy it however you like, either with some nice rotis, fulkas or chapatis. The corn palak sabji is done. Make sure you serve it nice and hot. You can enjoy it with some nice fulkas or chapatis. I've served it with some nice teplas by the side. This is a very simple and quick to make dish. So instead of the usual palak paneer that you make at home, you can try something like this for a change and it's very very easy to make. Wow, look at this combination. It looks absolutely amazing. Now it's time for tasting. Okay, let's try. I'm just going to take a piece of this delicious soft tepla and I'm just going to dip it into this delicious corn palak sabji. Mm. So this meal has all the essential fiber, vitamins, minerals 
that your body needs on a daily basis. And in case you're looking for something different from the usual palak paneer, this is a go-to sabzi, I would say. So do try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description, you can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.